Update. Hello everyone, Basil Chapman for the 11 o'clock Tiger Financial News Network market update. Dow's down 78 points at 36,168. What we're looking at is testing the 14 period moving average. We haven't even got a sell signal yet, but by the end of the day we might. But we do have a sell mode in place for the S&P. Uh, yep, it's way under the 14 period moving average. It's trading at 46.71. Uh, at minus 24, uh, this is on the daily chart. Nothing yet on the weekly because I made an all-time high this week at 48.18.62. Amazing, these turnarounds. But it's the SMHs that are really telling the story here. Down huge, down 8 at 298. It's got to hold 290 over the next week. If it closes under 287, that's a real problem. And we're looking at some of the key uh, semiconductors pulling back very sharply. A very selective move all over the show. What was working is starting to fail. What was failing is still failing. We're looking at the QQQ as an example. Three Qs. Uh, we're trading uh, down at 37933, down almost five points off the all time high of 408.71. And this is the lowercase h that goes to a lowercase m at the Chapman Wave Inside Track Repellent Zone. Watch out. This is a dangerous thing. IWM has now turned down. We're trying to rally off the 200 period moving average. It's stuck. Gold trying to rally. It's kind of up one. It's in this range that says something has to happen. It's probably the dollar that's going to tell the story because the dollar is down at 95.88. If the dollar starts to trade, I would say under 95, it closes under 95.20. I wouldn't be surprised if the gold actually takes the lead, but we'll have to watch this closely. Crude oil had a very nice move to the upside. Oh, what you can hear there is the... Uh, the uh, truck's going outside for the snow. We've got a snowfall coming up here. We haven't had that for a long, long time. Got to get used to it. And leg D in crude oil pulling back a little bit down 47 cents. Could pull back a little bit from here. And we look at the TLT. This is bonds. Down again. Yields are going higher. Down $1.13 at 142.15. Ugly chart in the bonds, dreaded H pattern in the weekly chart. Oh, yeah, yeah. And the monthly chart. So that says that the yields are going to go higher. And we were looking earlier on, we were looking at my triple yield chart. I'll do that for subscribers tomorrow when I do my overview for the Tiger Fund for my uh, opening call subscribers. But in the meantime, back at the ranch, I'm going to hand you over to Larry Pesavento. Uh, Larry comes up, and then there's Larry, uh, Think of Swim, Steve Rhodes. Dave White and Tom O'Brien wraps it up at the end of the day. And, of course, Tommy Jr. starts us off at 9 o'clock. A show you've got to listen to. Good technical and fundamental analysis. Kicks us off every day. Uh, have a wonderful weekend. I'll see you on Monday. Bowser Chapman signing off. Uh, now it's not down 77.